Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video guys, Burning Shadows has just came out, and of course, we gotta take a look at some Burning Shadow decks. Now, all the new GXs are lit, they're sick, unfortunately though, all my codes that I pre-ordered have not even came in the mail slash email yet, I don't know why they haven't come in the email, that seems kind of dumb, but I heard that the codes that I ordered were supposed to come on Monday, and they didn't come, and I was like, really? And then here we are today, with I don't have my code, so unfortunately I don't have that many Burning Shadow packs, so I wasn't able to really get many good cards for Burning Shadows, but what I can do is showcase a Tapu Koko Acerola with Super Scoop Up being reprinted in the new format. Super Scoop Up being reprinted is huge, um, of course, it's a sick, sick card. Um, it is kind of risky using Super Scoop Up over using some cards, because obviously you have to flip a coin. Um, as you can see, we got a secret of scoop up, which I called, I made a video, like, over, like, a year and a half ago, saying, like, the top five cards that may be a shiny card in the future, and boy, we got shiny super scoop up. I called it, I called it. Anyways, we'll take a look at the Tapu Coco deck here, the list that I have made, um, now, since this is my first, uh, Burning Shadows deck video, um, my last one, you know, Toxapex Lunala, I did end up asking for a hundred likes, which, you know, it's a lot of likes, but if we can hit 100 likes in this video, like the last one, that would be great. We appreciate it, guys. So, uh, yeah, anyways, let's get into the deck profile for Tapu Koko. Tapu Koko has always been lacking a little bit. When it first came out, people were really hyping this card up. They were like, man, Tapu Koko is going to be so good. And then, unfortunately, when it came out, it was like, mm, womp, womp, womp. However, it is a pretty good card, though. Um, and thankfully, Burning Shadows gave it so much good support Coco might actually be a big threat now. It might be the big threat that we need. So, first of all, Coco got Super Scoop Up, and it got Acerola, which is just insane. Both these two cards are insanely good with Coco. Tapu Coco has this ability, Arrow Trail. When you place Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn, you remove any number of Light Energy from your other Pokemon to this Pokemon. If you do, switch Coco if you're active. So the strategy here is build up something on the bench, drop Coco, Arrow Trail, bring in Sky High Claws, and then smack them with high slide with die high claws and then when tapu coco gets damaged you drop down another tapu coco and then bring that one active and then the damaged one you would either use max potion on but in this case we can now use super scoop up on which now lets us do another arrow trail which keeps the cycle going because originally you could only use max potion which wasn't letting you return the coco to your hand so you really only have like four arrow trails and if you got one if you started with tapu coco you only get three arrow trails so it wasn't that reliable with Max Potion. And with Acerola, we can actually use it again. So now we have more support with Tapu Koko, and it makes it more of an invincible healing loop card. Now Tapu Koko is an interesting card. It's unfortunately a little weak for the attack. I mean, okay, 3 for 130 isn't weak. But it's not doing big enough numbers to knock stuff out. Even with a Choice Band, you're not really going to knock stuff out. Even with the Choice Band Professor Kyuki, it's still not really knocking stuff out if you think about it. So, um, we're actually going to more turbo-wise this with Fighting Fury, but we're going to take advantage of Coco's tankiness, because it has no weakness, which is insane. It's not weak to fighting. So you're playing against Lycoroc or something, it's not going to hit Coco for weakness. Coco, um, we're going to use Coco with Fighting Fury Belt over Choice Band. It's going to give it a max HP of 210. And then we have the Stadium Aether Paradise Conservation Area, which basically gives Tapu Koko 240 HP. So your opponent has to do 240 damage to knock out Tapu Koko with these two in play. Unfortunately, it is a little fragile because your opponent can always use big cards like Field Blower, which kind of sucks, or they can just bump the Stadium. But, you know, for the most part, it's still consistent enough. Your opponent can't get rid of the Stadium or the Tool. They're not going to knock out Koko that quick enough, and then you can keep going. Another cool thing with Tapu Koko, you can actually donk with it thanks to Max Elixir. So we're going to be using Max Elixir in the deck. I don't think Max Elixir is the way to go efficiently. I've seen Tapu Koko list just play Max Elixir, and that's their only way to get energy in play. I feel like Max Elixir is really unreliable. Um, so we're actually going to be comboing this with Electrode. Electrode has the ability Buzz App Thunder. You do knock it out, but at the price, you get two Lightning Energies. Basically a double Lightning. Treat it like double Dragon, but it's instead called double Lightning Energy. This is going to be another way we're going to build up our Tapu Koko. Um, because one thing that can happen is when you do get a Coco down, you got to drop another one, and then, you know what I mean? So, Buzz Up Thunder helps us. Since we're going to be denying a lot of prizes with this deck, it's not really a big deal that we're going to be losing one prize early on in the game. Since Electro kind of, it's it's basically the seven prize game if you think about it. Because your opponent would still have to go through three Cocos. 
Now another cool thing is the other lightning attackers. We don't just have to use Tepu Koko, we can use other things like Jolteon EX. Flash Ray is super powerful. Unfortunately, it's not as good as it once was because GX Eve Evolution Pokemon are super popular. So it kind of hurts Flash Ray's potential, but it's still good. And then of course Raikou too. Raikou has sh Shining Body, which makes it tanky with Aether Paradise. And we also have Thunder Lance, which is a very good attack. A non -EX attacker is why I like Raikou. And we are going to be playing two of them because a non -EX attacker makes things even better for this deck. I feel like having Raikou in the deck is really good because your opponent only takes one prize for knocking it out, which is super good. Um, so yeah, those are all of our attackers. We do play two Leleys, obviously, for Wonder Tag. You could even play three Leleys because it's really important to grab Ace or Olus. Um, so those are all our Pokemon. We got our 2 2 um, Voltorb Electrode lineup. Then we go into our tools. We got, or not our tools, sorry, our items. Uh, we got one Field Blower. Super important to get rid of some Pokemon uh, cards, especially Garbodor. If uh, Garbodor comes to play, we can't use arrow turn we got one level ball i feel like level ball is important to grab both or or electrode in the early games because again electrode is one of our ways we can almost guarantee a turn to tapu coco play four max elixirs we are still going to play this it is a good way to get energy in play and it does give us donk potential if you pull off two max elixirs with an energy attachment in a single turn you can donk with arrow Tray or sky high claws one max potion we're still going to be playing one max in the deck totally not playing this because i do have one secret rare so i'm like trying to play it but max potion i still think is good in the deck sometimes you don't hit a super scoop up so then you can't heal sometimes you don't want to use ace roller you want to use guzma or n or something so we can use max potion instead uh one super rod just to get back our pokemon i'm going to play rod over energy just because or rescue stretcher i feel like it's so important to get back energy uh four scoop ups again to get back your coco scoop ups even um better now with tapu lele so let's you reuse wonder tag which is pretty sick um so yeah those are all of our those we got four ultra balls standard in every deck four via seeker standard in every deck via seeker with ace rolla in this deck is super good too it basically gives you six ace rollas three aether paradise again it's going to give our coco more hp technically 240 with the fight fairy belt two ace rollas so we can use coco two guzmas to kind of like the lysander play three ends for your drop support four sycamores for draw support three belts again i went with belt over choice band you can always run two belts one choice or even three belts one choice if you're really wanting to go that route but i still think three belts is more important um and then we got a total of 10 basic lightning we do play a lot of lightning because we want to make sure we're hitting our lightning Ooh, a trade just went through our pubs um let's check it out hey you got a salazzle i was planning on doing a salazzle deck for my first deck profile but i feel like that deck still needs to be tested and tweaked um, but that'll probably be the Salazzle deck I do a video on. But yeah, let's go hop into some matches with our Coco deck. See an action on PC Joe, but we're gonna go do it right away. We're gonna hop straight into it. We're gonna try out the Coco and see if the Coco is good. Um, I kind of want to do post rotation deck profiles too. That's one thing um, that I kind of want to do. Uh, but you know, it's like Worlds is technically still gonna be standard, right? So it's like there's not really a huge incentive. Okay, I, I'm done with the alphabet, guys. I forgot T is up ahead. Um, I want to do deck post, uh, post rotation deck profiles, but I, I with, with Worlds coming up, you never know. Like, you, you, Alolan not could win Worlds, is what I'm trying to say. So, we'll see. Um, so we'll get the first game in here, and it looks like Garbodor. Ugh. Garbodor. Hopefully Garbodor dies off when people get Gardevoir. I don't know if I'm going to be playing as many Guardians Rising decks here in Standard, just because, obviously, um, what's the space? Um, it's just, just, like, literally as I'm recording this, it's barely been out for, like, what, like, 30 minutes now? People are probably still opening packs. Um, I don't even want to know how much Gardevoir is going for on pubs right now. People inflate the prices, like, holy cow. It's, like, the only, the only reasonable tra- oh my god, what is- oh no, the double Coco start. The double Coco start is real. I'm probably gonna have to drop two Cocos. Um, but one also good thing about Electro, too, is it technically counts as a double max elixir, and it helps you against Garb, since it's not really playing an item card. Something to note. Kind of sucks. Double Coco start is terrible. Ugh. That's why I play more Raikus and stuff, because it's better to start with Raikou than Coco. It is Garb. Oh, the filthy is real. Luckily, Espeon is not a big threat, because we can easily get out of Psybeam with Ace Rolla or, like, Coco. Oh, I need to get a drink here. I've been talking. Um, okay, so luckily they're not actually going to put an energy on. Maybe we can donk this thing. Probably going to have to do N, though, unless I can get, like, a really good top deck. I mean, I guess. I'll just put this down so I have something to match Lixer to instead of benching another Coco. Oh, I didn't grab anything. My bad. Whatever, I'm going to end him anyways. I'm not going to do Sycamore. That'd be dumb. 
Alright, Max Sixer does hit. So I gotta be careful how many items I play. Hmm. I wanna put the belt on, but it's only the lightning energy, so there's no point. I don't wanna hit him because he didn't do anything. But, well, I couldn't Lele for Sycamore, that's a problem. I mean, I could just pass, but... Yeesh. I could... Mm, I could wait a turn to do end. You know? I mean, what I could do, actually, is if I top deck a Light Energy, we can actually, if he hits me for Psy Beam, we can Ace Roll of the Coco, bring up the Lele, and then smack him. And then, maybe try and get Coco? I don't really want to end, like, he didn't do anything last turn, so I think he's gonna pass. Uh, he didn't do end, I'm not, uh, he didn't do any supporters, I'm not gonna end him, don't wanna give him a new hand. He's gonna chill out a bit, you know, um, we just gotta be careful how many items we play. Okay, that's fine, I'm glad he's putting that down now and later. Oh, he had a second one. I should, I should have end him. But he actually does lose two big cards, he loses DC and Field Blower. Field Blower is amazing, now it's gonna, um, hurt the odds of him getting rid of Aether Paradise Conservation Area and Fighting Fury Belt. Um, there's the FBI. Boo. I should have ended him, man, but you know what? It's fine. At least he's Sycamore to weigh two important cards, I guess. That sucks. Honestly, I'd rather him play Espeon than Drampa. Actually, yeah, because Drampa has Derail, and he can get rid of Electro, which is a little annoying. Hopefully, we don't find many more Garb games after this, though. I'm not really looking to play against it. I'm not playing some Burning Shadow here. You guys have no creativity? Alright, so let's see. Can we get an energy? Alright, I guess we end him here. Alright, we'll end him and hope for the Dream Squad. <sighs> Thankfully, Divide GX won't knock me out. Ooh. I mean, not. If we got an energy, we would have actually been able to go Tapu Coco here. But we didn't. Okay, at least our Max looks are hitting, which is good. Um, just gonna put on Raikou. You never know. Some shenanigans could happen with our poor Tapu Lele. Okay, that's two items, so he's only doing 40, he's gonna do less damage with Aether. I think I'm just gonna hold on his hand for another turn. Yeah, it's fine. Next turn, we can go Tapu Coco, and Tapu Thunder him. Hopefully he puts a trainer down, because... Or an energy. Please, just a... He's probably gonna want to attach... Oh no, Garb. Oh god, the Garb. Please, don't get a duel to follow up. Oh. Hmm. And he hit a tool guy. Hmm, that's a little... I don't even know if the thing's in the deck, to be honest with you. Like, I don't even know if Field Blower's in the deck. I mean, we can just knock it out with Thunder. Why, Sander? Ha, it's not a Guzma, you suck at this game. Uh, does the Espeon knock me out? It doesn't. Okay, we still survive. He did touch energy, so if we can actually pull off type of Thunder, we can take a nice, quick pick here. You gotta be kidding. Oh, all the top decks. Oh, that sucks. Mm hmm. That's so annoying. Alright, I guess we'll just do this. I'll grab a Voltorb. Is Field Blower even in the deck? It is. Okay, so we have Voltorb here to prepare for Field Blower. Hmm. Go sick. Alright, can we hit a Field Blower and a few other cards? We don't, but we do. I mean, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. This hand's not even that good. Uh, we didn't. We got a Field Blower. Nah, even if we got Field Blower, we wouldn't have been able to go Coco. Hmm. Alright, I think we'll do this. Put one on Coco. I don't want to put too much energy on because he could lie Sanders like me. I'll put one on the Lele. Yeah, sure. Hmm. Tempted to retreat into Vault. Like, I mean, it might not even be worth it. But I kind of want it. You know? Keep the Raikou alive. I mean, I could have retreated and then went Max Lipster on Raikou, but it started taking damage. He can divide me, actually. It doesn't really matter where I put this, does it? I mean, I could belt the Raikou, give him 70 HP, and then he actually can't take the double KO with Divide GX. I think I have to do that. I have to do that. This way he can't take two prizes with Divide. Not the greatest play I would have wanted to do, but I kind of had to do it. Let's see the last card in his hand. Is that Garbotoxin is killing me, though. Oh my gosh. Garbador, get banned already. So he played four items, so he's doing 80. Probably gonna cap him out at 100, because we're gonna have the VS Seeker probably for, like... And, I mean, kinda have to. We need to find Field Blower. I mean, I could even go Ace Rolla Coco 
Field Blower. If we get Field Blower top deck, we'll Ace Roll of the Coco here, drop Coco, Tapu Thunder. I mean, we can take we can take out with Tapu Thunder, which is good. Oh, if his hand is dead too, that would be really good. I'm actually hoping his hand is dead here. Um, Psychic, okay. I'm actually surprised he didn't go Divide, but okay, I'll take it. Hey, no thanks. Not the not the item I was looking for, folks. Mm. I think we just gotta attack him with Tapu Lele. We built up Coco, I would have loved to have just Sky High Claw the Garboldor, but, uh, not happening. Uh, I think I just retreat Lele. We gotta attack with Lele, but, I don't know. Is there anything to Lysander? It really isn't. Nothing really with Lysander, but I kind of have to get going. More items down the drain, folks. Not, not ideal. Oh, my God. No fuel blowers. Oh, my God. 50, so he's 100, 120, of course. Alright, we'll belt, just try to, I don't know, give us more health. And I guess we swing him for 110 damage here. Garbodor's got a lot more damage on the board, but... I mean, with either Paradise, just giving our Coco at least a bit more health. But hopefully, though, guys, we see a drop off of Garbodor thanks to Gardevoir. Okay, as long as he's dead drawing, then I'm happy, because... He didn't seem to be getting any items. He filled up his bench too, so we can't do Tapu Lele. I wish we had another Guzma though, that'd be great. And there's the Divide GX. He's only taking one prize card though, it's not even the biggest deal. Oh, actually, he's taking two, but that's fine. That's fine. Man, we need to find Field Blower, dude. This is so dumb. First game, we have to play against a deck that shuts us down with Garbodor. Lovely. Mm -mm. Alright, we'll see. I think he's gonna put more damage on Lele got three damage counters left, so he's gonna put three on Lele, probably. Um, yep, there we go. Spent three on Tapu Lele. Okay. So, luckily, we can still knock him out here. I mean, knocking out Dark Boulder. We've lost so many items. 100, 110, 120. 120. Scoop up. I mean, I'd love to play it, but we can't. <laughs> so bad. Hmm. Kinda tempted to drop Coco here. We can super scoop up and knock him out. I don't wanna do that, because this thing's gonna get knocked out with a DC or Dark Boulder. I think I just sacrificed the Lele here. Seems like a decent play. Oh, we gotta find a field blower though soon. I kinda wish we had like teammates in the deck with the bolt called Electro play. We get a super rod, more items though. If he delinquents us, might have to lose more items. He's bringing out Espeon. Alright. That's fine. I think we're gonna then scoop up our Lele. Delinquent. I predicted that. Alright, we'll get rid of Jolt. Level Ball. And I guess Ultra Ball? Two items I didn't want to lose. Now we're in one shot range. <sighs> I knew he was gonna do Delinquent. Alright, just a side beam, you know? Better than nothing. Still forced us to have to play a scoop up. No Field Blower once again. Ay ay ay. Alright, well. I think we gotta hit him with Coco here. You see, yeah, whatever. We're already in one shot range. I don't even care anymore. Alright, you gotta be kidding me. Alright, come on, scoop up. Son of a gun! Now we be put so many items in the discard for Garboder. That is just lovely. If that hit, that would have been so big, because then we could probably retreat and then just got high, but nope. I think the fact that he has Garboulder in place is killing us. So yeah, like 50... 40, and he hit a Sycamore. Oh my gosh, this is so bad. Ugh, oh, Garboulder, why do you have to exist? I hope Garboulder just kills off Garboulder, and then no one plays this card anymore because it's just trash. Another Floatstone, lovely! He's probably gonna keep that in his hand too. Now, I'm hoping he just side beams me here. We have to flip to attack, but I don't know. When we get field blower top deck, we could start going off here. Oh, we can just retreat now. Yeah, we can. If he does that, I think I just concede. Because even if we top deck field blower, we don't have enough energy in play to uh, kind of swing with Coco. Alright, does he have. Is he going to retreat, knock me out, or is he going to play it? Or is he just going to side me? 
slow. I mean, that works too, I guess. We could have retreated though, but whatever. I, I think I just conceded. We can't really win the game at this point. Garboder is a just. I don't even want to say it. I, I've talked so much trash about Garboder. There's no point in really talking trash about it. But all I'm gonna say is Garboder, go die in a violent fire, please. I hate Garboder so much. But whatever. Hopefully we get another game like not against Garboder. But can we against like some kind of Bernie Shadow deck like Necrozma or something? But anyway, find another game. Unfortunately, guys, the Garboder shut us down there. We weren't really able to do the explosive plays that we wanted to do unfortunately but we'll find another match here against back to the apple playing volcanian volcanian so finally a game where we can let loose some player items and not to worry about garboder killing us that's just an unfortunate game i think the fact that he garbo talks and that's just cost us the game we couldn't find field blower either whatever i garboder is just so such a stupid deck and this is actually not a good hand all right well hopefully my opponent ends us actually we're going first right never mind Ooh, mulligan. Hmm. We'll see if he plays Ho or not. He might be playing Ho O GX. I've seen some Garboder um, people be like, eh, hey, or not Garboder. Okay, I'm, I play against so much Garboder, I'm talking Garboder now. Ooh, Lele top deck. Alright, that's perfect. Yeah, I think we're gonna go Lele here for N. I can't really afford to Sycamore away these crucial cards. So let's just check the deck. One Coco is prized. Uh, we got all the Max Lixers, all our Scoopas, and all our energy. And our Belts and our Aether Paradise. Perfect. So we'll grab N here. Alright, there's no way he's gonna knock out Rise with Baby Folk. So we'll go for the N here and uh, let's see what we can hit. Hopefully, some Max Elixir. Cool. Alright, yeah, next turn we can actually go Tapu Coco. This is perfect. Coco is good against Volk because Tapu Thunder one shots Volk because Volk is notorious for getting a lot of energy in play. So there you go. Look at that. Look at that. Turn turn two, we're probably gonna go Sky High Claws. And we can one shot Baby Volk, which is really good too. So we're off to a good start. Way better start than the last game, where my opponent kind of just pooped on me. But this is awesome. This is awesome. So, float, float. Alright, so he is going to go Baby Bulk. Luckily, we do have that ability, Shining Body, so he does have to do 140 damage, which he's probably not going to do. And, alright, there's a Steam Up. That's cool, but you know what? At any point, my opponent puts a lot of energy in play. We kind of just have Coco um, to kind of just swing him. Ultra Ball for Lele. Alright, cool. But yeah, Tapu Thunder is perfect to one-shot stuff, especially Turnator. So, you know, looking pretty good. The fact that we're going to knock him out so early on is good, too. Um, I guess as long as he doesn't play any, like, Max Elixirs or anything, then um, he won't build a Vol- I'm kind of scared if he builds a Volcanian kind of quickly. This is where Electrode comes in handy. Um, because if he, if he does surprise knock out the Tapu Coco off the bat, then we have Electrode to get more energy in play. That's kind of the point of it. Alright, Ultra Ball, get rid of the Guzma on the end, probably get another Volcanian EX here, yep, that's cool. I mean, you want to put as much energy in play as you want to be my guest, but as long as there's no Max Elixirs here, then I'm happy. Steam up, okay. Alright, keep, luckily, Raikou's just cannon fodder, he's just there to sponge hits. Cool, alright, nice. Turn to Tapu Coco, don't mind if I do. Field Blower, okay. At least we can play it, so that's cool. I could Guzma here too, but I'm gonna just knock out Baby Bulk. Perfect play. So we'll Ultra Ball here for the Coco. Yeah, all right, we're 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 going good here, folks. We are going good, and uh, we'll do Field Blower. Kind of wish I was getting rid of like a, a Stadium too, but it's fine. And uh, here we go. We get to move the energy to my boy Coco, and yeah, we can knock him out. We do exactly 130 damage, which is pretty lit. We'll go sick more. Can we find a Voltorb? Fighting Fury Ball works too. No Voltorb though. That's fine. So, yeah, here we go, Sky High Claws, 130, or 140. But, yeah, we knocked him out, and, I mean, yeah. Now, if we did have Choice Band, we could, and he put an Energy in play, we could threaten a Tapu Thunder KO, but he's fine. Um, I think he's probably going to build the bench. I think it's going to Lysander it out, or Guzma it out, sorry. Hmm. Actually, I can't. <laughs> Maybe the two Guzmas wasn't good. Maybe one Lysander, one Guzma was better. All right, so Super Rod. All right, we'll see if he has a supporter in his hand or not. He does. All right, and I'm fine with that. Um, we get a fresh new hand of 6 here, or 5. Still need to find Voltorb, though. That'd be good. Another Coco, some energy. Okay, there's Brooklyn Hill. Um, okay, so we have to get a Seeker, so we can do the Guzma play, but then we'll have to sacrifice an energy to do that, which I'm fine with. Oh, there's Max Elixir. Shaman 2, oh boy. Free prize. Even though we have the Explosive turn with Sky High Claws, my opponent is still putting on some big pressure. Yeesh. 
He might actually knock me out here if he gets the right tools. I mean, if he had Starmie in play, it'd be a little more easier for him to do it, but he could knock me out here. It's possible that our boy Tapu Koko could be going down to a Volcanian EX, which is kind of sad. Let's see, though. If not, I think we go Guzma. Maybe. I kind of wish we had the Voltorb now. If we get Electrode in play, there's two energies we have in play for another Tapu Koko. We have Belton. We can, we can sponge a hit, I guess, but still. We'll see what my opponent does. He could Nitro tank, even though and he's got no energies. Never mind. Escape rope. Ooh, okay. Um, yeah, we can sacrifice Raikou. That's fine. Better than sacrificing Lele. Cool. I mean, we can even drop Coco, put the energy on, and then do that. I might even do that, to be honest with you. Hmm. I want him to put another energy in place so we can Tapu Thunder him. Oh, I know he does. Cool. Alright, we'll just retreat Raikou into Coco. And we'll go Brooklet Hill here. Um, just to check the deck. Okay, so one of our Voltors was prized. Go figure. Um, we still have our scoop up. I'm really tempted here to do the Sycamore. Even though we are losing some energy, we still have a super scoop up. Hmm. He didn't do anything though off that Shaman. He Shamaned and just escape rope, so it wasn't really a good Shaman play. So. Okay, so Tap with Thunder is unfortunately 10. No, 20 short. So I guess we Scott High Claws him for 140. That's fine. Still putting enough damage on him to uh, put pressure on him. I might, uh, maybe I should have Ender Sycamore to try and went for the Ape Paradise Conservation Area, but I'm still forcing him to do a lot of damage knock on my Coco here. We'll see what happens. I mean, he, he would need a lot of cards to do it. Alright, be a Seeker. Is he going to end me or Sycamore me? Sycamore, alright. Hopefully, we don't see a big Sycamore here. Um, what is he losing, though? Rescue Stretcher. Rod, okay, that's fine. Alright, cool. Um... I'm glad he didn't play any energy, though, for Steema. Okay, more Max Luxers. He's not catching to a uh, Turnator, though, which is kind of weird. There's one Steema. All right. He would need a lot. He would need, like, Choice Bang. He would need Field Blower to knock me out. All right, he's doing 190. One more Steema up, and our... Oh, you Joe! What? Yo! <sighs> That's so annoying. Oh, my God. How are you joking? That is a joke. Alright. We're gonna have to maybe try and build a Lele and knock him out. Oh, be a seeker, dude. Where are the other top decks that I actually need? Ah, oh, that's so annoying. Alright, we have to end him here. We gotta hit him with an end. Oh boy. Dude, that sucks. How did he do that? He got so lucky off that. Okay, that's actually good. If we can hit Max Lixir and Scoopa, we can knock him out here, which is what we need to do. Alright, come on. No, Max Elixir, why do you do this to me? Oh, no. So bad. That's so bad. Alright, Super Scoop up it is, or Super Rod it is. Ah, that's so bad. How, I can't believe he got that lucky. He got the triple steam up. Man, that sucks, dude. He got everything he needed off of that Sycamore. That is a joke. That is so bad. This is why I like Electrode, because if a turn like that happens where my opponent knocks out Tapu Coco, we can do Electrode and put two more energies in play and then go Coco again. That sucks. So we're not really getting too lucky either. I was hoping to hit that Max Elixir and hopefully hit Scoop Up, and then we could have went Lele and Energy Drive to knock him out. It's just giving him another turn to build up energy, which is just bad. So, yeah. Okay, just a pass. Okay. I'm gonna do super scoop up here. Alright, it didn't even hit, go figure. Alright, well. How many VS Seekers have we lost? Uh, okay, we got one left, whatever. We gotta go for the Sika here and dig a little bit. Okay, looks like we might be able to knock him out Coco, assuming this works. Thank you. Alright, nice. Nice. So, confirmed 100%, we do have the Tapu Coco play. Plus, we have Aether Paradise. No belt, though, to follow up, but that's fine. We do have a uh, Tapu Thunder for next turn this and uh, sky high claws and knock him out all right so my opponent had a bit of a explosive play there but it's fine we will knock him out as long as there's no double steam up shenanigans with a choice fan we're okay we do have ace Arola though and ultra ball so we can actually go coco once again which is sweet so we knock him out does my opponent have a knockout i think if he does i think it's game 
Book a hill. Oh my god, no. <laughs> Don't do double steam up N, okay? It's only four cards, so not looking good. Man. What do we get? It's two speed bumps. Yeesh. Not too good. It's not a good hand at all. Float. Okay. There's the energy and no knockout. Alright, nice. We knock him out with our boy Tapu Thunder. Electrode, alright. I think we have to do this. Grab Voltorb. I'm fine with going Electrode. Still, it's not really giving him many prizes, so it's fine. And we'll scoop up Lele here and try to get a heads. Hey, look at that. Alright, nice. Um, okay, we'll drop Lele and we will grab Sycamore here. Okay. Uh, do we have the Electrode in the deck? Just making sure we do. Okay. Alright, sweet. Uh, I guess we'll Ultra Ball the Raikou just to heal it. Alright, never mind. Alright, we'll go Sycamore. And hopefully we can hit a Tapu Coco here or an Ultra Ball. Hey, there it is. A hey, here we go. Alright. Time for some fun. We are gonna move all the energy to my boy Coco. And this, my friends, is why Tapu Coco is good. And then we will bump the Book of Hill, give us more health. Do we do Ultra Ball? No, we don't. I like all the cards in my hand. And we hit him with a big old Tapu Thunder for 200 damage, knocking out Volcanian EX. And then all we have to do is knock out, like, Shaman and we win the game. So, there you go. There's Electro, there's Max Elixir, so we're looking good, folks. Um, the only problem is we only have two Guzmas left in the deck. So we only have one via Seeker and one Guzma in the deck. And we get Yuka one Super Alright, so we'll see what my opponent can do. He might have a dead hand. And if he does, I think we just win the game. Sycamore, okay. Via Seeker, okay, that's fine. At least he doesn't have Guzma access. That's cool. Okay, so he's bringing... Put down Star Me. Doesn't have free retreat now, which is nice. Hmm. I mean, I think at this point we're good. I think I'm gonna blow up Electrode, and he concedes. There we go. My boy Coco. Coco making the big plays, and we get a present here too. I don't know what we got, um, but that was a pretty good game. Did he have Ho? -Oh? No. Okay, so it looks like it's just Turt Bulk, and he had probably just Guzma in the deck. Yeah. He just updated with Guzma, but that was pretty good. Um, I need to show off the Ace Roll to play, so. Um, he got a pretty big turn there. But we were able to respond. Wait. Okay, apparently we didn't, we didn't get anything. Hold on. Did we not get anything out of the, the pride? Okay, whatever. I, I didn't check. Maybe we did. Alright, guys. Let's go get one last game. I was like, maybe you should end the video there. But no. The video would have been too short. I'm not going to do you guys like that. We'll get another match in here with our deck. Playing against Psychic Lightning Colors. I would say Nightmarsh, but it ain't expanded. Hey, we win the coin flip. Sweet. Sweet. Now, I don't want to start with Tapu Coco. Because I got some bad luck with Coco Starts recently, so let's not start with it again. Like I have for the past like few games. I was testing the deck before Burning Shadows. I wasn't getting many Coco Starts. That was why I do play like two Raikus over one Raikou like some would play. Voltorb Start. Mega Alakazam. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. That's, that's going to be a fun little match. We do have a lot of ways to heal with East Roller, Super Scoop Up, Ape of Paradise, Revenge, less Damage, which hurts that Mac Alakazam's potential. And also we have Max Potion. And we can cycle the active Coco, which is good. Plays Espeon, though. That's not good. Okay, so we're going to lose two VS Seekers. We're going to go down a couple VS yes, Seekers. But it's all good. We will get ourselves a Raikou. Man. I will, maybe I should grab Coco, but I want to save the Cocos. So we'll belt the Raikou, and we'll go Max Lipster here. And a it's, oh, that almost didn't hit for a sec. And VS Seeker. We're going to go down two VS Seekers off of Gate. We'll recover. And let's see here. What do we get? Alright, another Raikou is pretty good. And we'll do this. And yeah. Looks like next turn we are going to be able to go in for a Coco, which is pretty sick. So we're looking pretty good here, folks. We are looking good. Um, as long as we don't whiff energy, we'll be okay. Um, so yeah. Plus, if he side beams us, we can keep chaining Cocos, which is good. Um, so yeah, right now I'm feeling okay about this position. Assuming my opponent doesn't get like some like I don't know crazy playoff where he like destroys me We'll find out though, so I guess he's gonna try and set up a divide DX play with Alakazam, so we got to watch out for that Ooh, Lysander, okay, that's fine Does he not expect me to play Tapu Koko? Does he think I'm playing Electro Raikou? Boy, that deck's been out of date since evolution Hmm Okay, we can actually go Electro here, which I'm gonna do We gotta get damage on this thing, so I think we just ultra ball away these two. Grab Electrode. I'll go Kaboom. I'll go Kaboom here. Kaboom! 
Um, okay, so we'll go Kaboom, we'll drop the Coco. We'll move the two energies to the Tapu Coco. And then we'll super scoop up our Raikou, get our Fighting Fury Bell back, get the damage off the board. And you, not really relevant, it's only 10 damage, but you never know, man, you never know. So we'll drop the Raikou again. We'll put the belt on, and I'm actually going to hold on to Electro for a minute. Even though we can divide it. Ooh, more energy. Jolteon too, don't need you, but alright, so we'll go here, Max Elixir once again. A, it hits. So we have a really good hand here. Um, let's spread out the energy a little bit. And yeah, I think I'm going to go Kaboom. Now, the problem with doing Electrode and having two energies on, it does set up a little bit of a Tapu Lele, but this is a good hand. It's a really, really good hand. Wish we had another Tapu Coco, though. But we can put an Aether Paradise Conservation Area in play, and we will hit him here for 140. Again, Tapu Coco is not really hitting for the biggest numbers with Sky High Claws, one of the reasons why it kind of sucks, but it's all good. We got so much support for Coco, which is looking good. Now we have 240 HP, so if my opponent doesn't knock me out, we're looking pretty here. Plus, we can super scoop up our Coco. When he side beams us, it was the choice. Whoa, we're gonna heal all that damage, anyways. Coco, like, Flying Flip, funny enough, can't actually knock me out because Aether Paradise counts for any Pokemon in play, not just the active, so he can't even damage Raikou with the energies on, anyways, which is funny. So there's Professor Sleeper. Okay, I'm glad he didn't end me there because this hand is good. Plus, maybe we can show off Ace Rolla. So I haven't showed off Ace Rolla yet. I really want to show off the Ace Rolla plays, so hopefully, we can maybe do Ace Rolla. Ooh. Is he gonna go for Divide? Psychic. I don't, I don't think it knocks me out. Yeah, we live. Yeah, 180. Alright. Please top deck Lele or Ace Rolla. No thanks. Okay. Double scoop up. Hey. Look at that. All that damage goes bye bye. We get the Electro back. That's kind of funny. We'll put down Raikou. Put the energy on it. Drop down the Coco. The Coco threat is real, folks. Plus, with Aether Paradise in play, he can't even damage me, which is pretty cool. I think we keep this hand. Yeah. Eh. Mm, I think now nah, we'll go Sycamore. Yeah, sure. Yeah, we'll go Sycamore. I don't need Jolteon. Not really a big deal to prevent damage from Coco. Um, okay. Not bad. So we'll max Elixir once again. Try and get some energy in play. No. It's kind of annoying. I don't think he can knock me out this turn though anyway, so it's fine. And yeah, Sky High Claws for the knockout on this Espeon GX. And again, with Aether Paradise in play, Baby Coco can't knock me out. And also, with Funny Fury Belt on our Tapu Coco, and with the Aether Paradise, technically Aether Paradise would let us not knock out Coco. So it gives this thing 140 HP, but with Funny Fury Belt it doesn't. Oh, and he concedes! He concedes! There you go. And let's see, 50 coins. Right, you actually gotta watch the whole thing to see how what you get, because it actually doesn't say... Alright, let's check out his list, but I think we'll wrap up today's video. We got an unfortunate game against Garboder, but what else is new? Garboder is always going to be an unfortunate game. No, yeah, um, that'll wrap up today's video with our Tepu Coco deck. That was pretty fun. I didn't really show off the Ace Roller play as much as I wanted to, but you get the idea. You get how good Coco is. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching the video, guys. If you enjoyed, make sure to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe for more PDCGO content. Help me on the road to 2,000 subscribers. Oh, I was hoping to hit 2K subs by Burning Shadows. It didn't happen. I was kind of unfortunate, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day, and uh, yeah. Subscribe more PC Shield content, more Burning Shadows content. Once I get my packs in the mail, guys, and the email, I will be able to hopefully do more videos. I'm probably going to just trade some Burning Rising guys anyway. So, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day. And I'll see you guys on another Burning Shadows video tomorrow. Peace out.